Ladies and gentlemen, you know the subject matter of arming teachers is still going on. And I said this before, I'll say it again. I absolutely do not trust these folks being armed in a classroom full of children. They don't even have their heads on right. Look at the amount of teachers that we do stories on year in and year out that do racist rants in classrooms, use the N-word in classrooms. Or if a child is being racially harassed in a class, the teacher is aware of it but won't do anything to stop it. Do you really want those kind of people to be armed in a room with your children? Hell no. I said this before, I'll say it again. Once the decision is made to arm teachers, you should be making the decision to get your children out of that school. Okay, many of these teachers can't stand our children and our children don't have to do anything to them. But we see how they react to our kids year in and year out. And it's not good. So if you, next time you see these teachers using the N-word in class and having a meltdown and going into a racist fit in the class, picture that teacher with a gun. That's all I'm saying. Arming teachers will be considered. Options for teachers to be armed in school systems to allow, um, this is being considered y'all <clears throat> in the state of Georgia. Mm -mm -mm. Republicans propose a state funded certified firearms training program for teachers as part as a proposed school safety initiative. Lawmakers plan to introduce the proposal during next year's legislative uh, session, saying it builds on previous reforms educators have passed. I don't care what in, man, mm. y'all, don't trust us, especially with our children. You know, they always feel differently when it comes down to our children. Now, if there wasn't all the racism in the school systems, uh, you know, it, it might not be so bad, but that's not the case. Reality is the school systems in America are very racist. And it just picture that same teacher having a gun or your child gets up to ask a question and they see it as a, as a threat and pull the gun. You know, that's why you got to consider how these people think. Mm -hmm. Their thinking is ridiculous. You know, it's just like that idiot judge in the courtroom. He going to pull a gun on a black man saying he walked up to the podium too fast. What kind of guard? But this is, I'm telling y'all, this is how these folks think. Your children may get out of their seat too fast and they see that as a threat. Nah. Arming them? Hell no. I'm not for it at all. According to a spokeswoman, the teachers will receive $10,000 yearly as a new stipend if they participate. The proposal would expand other existing school safety grant programs to allow schools to use that money to hire post-certified security personnel. And... Mm, mm, mm. We fundamentally believe that firearms in the hands of law-abiding Georgians can save lives. Jerry Henry, executive director, 
a pro-gun rights group said in a statement, the center square. That's why we support lawful weapon carriers exercising their Second Amendment rights at work. You know what else has come into my mind? The NRA and how they have never supported the Black community at all. You know, they see all the shootings going on and even Black gun owners, they have never, ever supported even Black gun owners. Mm -mm. And, And my question is, who are these teachers that are going to have these guns? A bunch of white teachers? Oh, hell no. Get your kids out of these schools. <laughs> Get your kids out of these schools, y'all. Especially my people in Georgia. If they pass this bill, you need to get your kids out right away. I can't say that enough. Teachers aren't trusted to read certain books in class, but they can carry guns to protect themselves and their students. Yeah, you know, they they have been on this big campaign of banning books. Georgia House Democrats, they had posted on social media, Republicans continue to show they are extreme and out of touch with reality. They could just do something about guns, but that will be too much like uh, right. Yeah. So um, Lisa Morgan, president of the Georgia Association of Educators, called the proposal a simplistic solution to a complex problem. Suggesting that the state, instead of using the money to hire more counselors and social workers and school psychiatrists, what I hear all the time are teachers are buried under a weight of increased expectations. Teachers feel like, okay, I have to be the nurse today, I'm a counselor because we don't have enough counselors. I have the responsibility that has been added to my plate on top of what I'm here to do. So the first reaction, oh, so now you're going to add security guard to my job description, Morgan added. It's not a good idea for the health and safety of everyone in our schools to introduce more weapons in our school. And it is certainly not something that is going to assist with reducing the level of burnout and retaining current educators. It is not something that is going to assist us in recruiting and attracting new educators to our profession. I'm not happy about it. I would have a concern about students getting a hold of the gun. You know, where is this gun going to be kept? Is it going to be kept in a classroom or another area of the school? Because y'all know how bad some of these kids are. And these kids that are bad don't always look like our melanated kids. In fact, the majority of the time, they aren't. And... All it takes is one time for them to discover that gun is there and their attempts to take the gun. Look, these kids that do school shootings, they walk out of their own parents' houses with guns. So it would take much for them to take a gun from a teacher. I'm just saying. So you'll have to tell me what you think. I certainly, just with the climate that our kids are dealing with over their hair, over their race, dealing with these Karen teachers and Karen and Darren students, I would not feel safe with my kid going in the class with those very same people and they're armed. No way. 
Y'all tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. And if you are in the state of Georgia and you have children in school, let me know how you feel about this in the comment section. Peace, family.